Saturday. March 27th. This is the state of our front yard after working in it all day. Believe it or not, we had to dig this bed up, which is our, was the one bed we had last year, but it, we had to re-dig it up. That's gypsum. Have to leave that Thai basil to make sure my other plants get started before I break that apart. And this is the Daimondia, which is a drought tolerant ground cover from South Africa. It's in the sunflower family. It has these beautiful little yellow flowers and it actually can tolerate light foot traffic. So that's gonna go in the side yard. I'll show you where. I busted out our chairs. Got the umbrella stand. Gotta get the umbrella, which is up overhead. <sighs> tired. Um, wet grass clippings that Kelly put out in the sun to dry. See our blueberries, which I showed you last time. Um, that pile, let's see, zoom, is all the cardboard and compost that we pulled up from the side yard where we're going to put the Daimondia because the cardboard did not break down in the last nine months, even as even though it wintered over. And that pile of dirt that Kelly's working on is the pile of dirt, the dirt that came out of that bed. So he's filtering it. You can see there's lots of roots and stuff. And then we will amend it with our pile of composted organic horse manure that we got several weeks ago. Still have some of that left which does not smell, by the way, never did. When it's good stuff, it doesn't smell bad. Um, garden, eggplants, right here on the end. You know, they don't look very good. Chives, it's another eggplant, single eggplant. I said it needed three feet. Three little lettuce plants, Nevada lettuce. We'll see how that does here. Peppers, tomatoes, these, we've Kelly put in a few weeks back, put in this Thai basil, moved a piece over here that I had rooted and another piece over here, hoping it takes. And then there's some parsley right here that, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really look so happy, does it? I might have to put some seeds in there. And that's carrots and radishes that Kelly planted from seed a few weeks back and our dwarf improved Meyer lemon. And then this is the side yard that had all of these aeoniums that belonged to Stephen Barrett. I think it was one or two plants that are now umpteen plants. Is our victory garden sign? Uh oh, airplane. So those aeoniums were over here. I'm sitting on top of that pile of compost and there was cardboard and you can see the grass is dead so now we just got to find out from Nan Sturman if we can just put the, the clean topsoil on top and plant the Daimondia or if we have to rip this grass out. I hope not. I don't think it'll come back but it would be a nightmare if it did. So we need to make sure. And then our palm trees which we had trimmed to the max. Aaron, who took out the pepper tree that came down in the storm for us, came and climbed the trees and took care of them. This, and then I was here, cleaned the, cleaned up, dragged the fan palms into the fronds into a pile. There are all of the arms, which really would make very good weapons because those thorns hurt like a mofo. That's the voice of experience speaking. You can see our passion vine. It's doing better on this end. Still, I went through here and plucked off the weak leaves, so we'll see. Now that it's getting warmer, hopefully it'll be okay. And that's all for now. Time to go in and take a shower.